What is going on guys? Welcome back to the FM22 Journeyman series. Be sure to leave a big like on the video if you have been enjoying it. And we are going to get through uh, the form we've been on and pushing up the table just a little bit, uh, finding our feet, still early in our uh, tenure uh, here at Bordeaux. So it's almost copying and pasting what we've done at each club. Like we've taken over that we've been in, you know, it's an understandable position why the previous manager uh, lost his job, uh, looking like being in a relegation battle, you know, we hop in and get some wins, push up the table. It's kind of, it's just a similar storyline, like to see it. But uh, again, a comment from the channel member, uh, Dan is uh, very, very, uh, let's say intrigued about, yeah, not even intrigued. That's not the right word, uh, I think. It's the importance, uh, rates the importance of having, uh, being being good on both feet for your players. And because uh, we did touch on the fullback situation, that's what uh, th that really uh, would have stemmed from. Uh, we do have a few fullbacks, but of course, let's just sort by the age because we know who we're going to be talking about. Uh, Vincent Column here because he's weak on his right foot. So that point is really saying, okay, for the time being, uh, probably not going to see him as another position. He's locked down as that left back, and I see that 100% for sure. And then also the suggestion to uh, start training players on their weaker foot, because I wouldn't say I do like, yeah, start developing weaker foot. We can, we can go right on that, but there we go. <laughs> we put that in place. Uh, but yeah, I guess we'll have to, well, not guess, yeah. Uh, it's not something I do for every single player, but if I notice if it would improve a player's game necessarily there, if I was targeting a player as a left back, I'm probably thinking like, oh, generally, no, he probably doesn't need to be as, like, he doesn't need to be good on his right foot. But then when you start to think about it, uh, yeah, you're going to be a better player if you don't have a weaker foot. Like, yeah, <laughs> well, it's still going to be weaker than the others, but if it's going to cause you to make errors, yeah, um, you can not not necessarily cancel that out completely, but lower the percentage of that, yeah, for errors for you uh, is going to be good. Uh, but also, yeah, uh, we're pointing out his comment uh, each uh, each video, uh, but appreciate uh, the love and uh, the support for um, on the members. But he's a bit of a lone ranger. Um, I'm not sure how many people know about you can, you know, support the channel through uh, YouTube, you can join. So I'll just show you what that kind of looks like and maybe some more can uh, join the team and support the channel. And uh, yeah, we'll be to get more people involved with the comments would be really uh, nice to see uh, in terms of a higher, you know, more involved in the channel. Yeah, just get your guys comments. Uh, yeah, I'll show them on the screen. And yeah, uh, it'll be good. And then, of course, those that show the love over on the Patreon as well, I do always appreciate that extra support. Uh, you know, it does help me out when, you know, my videos don't get the craziest views. So, yeah, every little bit of support uh, helps me out personally. But we're going to just go into review some results here. And we had that loss against, oh, we, we had a lot of, I just go straight to the PSG result. Uh, I don't want to talk too much about PSG because we know how good they are, but... They got Yusufo Masoko and like he's too good basically. Like there's like what what words don't say it, stats do. Twenty two goals in the league out of seventeen games. Like like I don't know. I don't even want to talk about you, mate. Like <laughs> he's good. they're gonna cause us trouble with going all the way in the league, I tell you that much. But yeah, we point out that result, like we said, because it stands out. That was a loss. Away from home, yeah, you could probably say that's the toughest game of the season. And if you go down just two nil, I think that sums up our overall form. Like after that, uh, we've kept clean sheets. Uh, we're holding up defensively and creating enough chances. Uh, really have liked our game. We're sharing the load. Uh, Valentin, he's been, uh, you know, I I mentioned that like, oh uh, yeah, I've I've seen him before, and I didn't sign him. I wanted to see a bit more. I just. Um, yeah, he he's showing me now that yeah, yeah, I'm I, I'm good enough. <laughs> he's proving to me the manager that he's good enough. Look, two games in a row. The previous game he didn't really do anything, uh, but those couple there, one game he's like, look, yeah, I can create, I can get assists. Next one, I, I can be the one to put the put a brace home as well. So uh, that is very assuring uh, for yeah, locking him down. I, I say locking him down on that right side as an inside forward, but you can put him as striker on left wing as well. 
that's probably another yeah see now that comment is in my mind and i'm going to start yeah developing a weaker foot once more i said i lock him down as a if i'm playing inside forward yeah uh, left foot cutting in on that's going to be important but yeah what if a case comes we're rotating in a game for whatever reason it's going to be helpful if his weaker foot is not just weak if it was like average it, hey, that's better than nothing. It was better than being weak. And I thought we'd line up, you know, a challenging game away against Lille. They're, like, I think they're underachieving a little bit. They're ninth. I see them, they could be a challenger. You fight for a top four European uh, type position. So I would just go over the panels as well. And then FC Lorient, that's a cup game. So I thought uh, we'd play that as well. Uh, see if we can get the job done uh, against them in the Coupe de France uh, I want to just see necessarily, what if you go to over to the final, winner qualifies for the Europa League group stage. So, uh, hey, you, like I said when we're, like I didn't want to go too early, but now you could probably say league position is available. I think someone like Strasbourg and I, yeah, we beat them 3-0, Strasbourg. I um, wonder if Nice will hold up there as well, but... Uh, maybe a couple of them can drop out. I think there's actually a chance to qualify for Europe this season. <laughs> it's funny. Yeah, you get a few wins in a row and yeah, you get in a decent position. But yeah, we'll take it uh, game by game and it'll be important because uh, the single league game we're playing in this episode is against a little away. So I think uh, most definitely um, in an away fixture like this uh, for the season, we don't want to, or, or it would be great. We would be great. It would be great if we get a point from it away fixture against what we what we think is a decent side. So let's go into it. And if you see these results that have played out, we mentioned Strasbourg, they uh, have dropped points again. And yeah, we've got this extra game to play uh, with teams on top of us. Like we could take over Marseille and yeah, uh, Strasbourg as well and sneak into that six. That would be like, yeah, that would be perfect. So it's, e it's easy just to say, like, it's so easy to say in FM, yeah, if we win, we'll do that. Uh, but uh, Lille will be thinking a similar thing because uh, they're, yeah, good reputation. They want to hold that up uh, as well and fight for that position. So Colm, yep, uh, we'll bring him in. Carrillo and Beck Sorensen. I hope they start to get a connection soon because I'm I'm liking using them together. If you think uh, Carrillo, these, we've got a few others like these younger guys. I really like Hervé, yeah. Yeah, he's, he's got some future. Uh, his heading attribute is another one. See, look at him. Yeah, you get excited about him, right? Left foot, he doesn't have a weak foot. Technically, his left foot is weaker, but they're both strong. So that's that's excellent. Uh, that's what you'd love to see. And then you'd his passing is only 10, so maybe not a mid... Uh, that's interesting how you develop, yeah, or wh where we would necessarily see him because his heading is really low. So uh, we're all about... Yeah, well, we were training him DM. Because uh, that's something we targeted really early. So if you go on the yeah, aerial, aerial is going to be heading and bravery. Uh, bravery, you're not going to complain about that attribute. We're definitely wanting to target the heading one. Uh, that is uh, that is for sure. But yeah, uh, yeah, he could come through as a center back. We've got a few of those options. But in terms of first team, um, you can see that by the uh, comparison in those ratings there. And then, yeah, uh, Killian, yeah, he's that next one, but we're preferring to use him at right back, um, as you can see. Uh, that's uh, that, that makes me happy with our defensive selection, uh, to be honest. And, and you've seen we've been getting some clean sheets uh, in recent times. Nice 11. Uh, Farris we've put over onto that left side. We've actually had a few injuries. Um, Pereira suspended. He's wanted some more games. Uh, but, yeah, it was the Alice. Uh, he just come back from a little injury he did pick up. Um, he's got... I always talk about high natural fitness, but he's it's an injury. It's an injury. I'd, I'd like to think, yeah, you won't see too many of those down uh, downward arrows, but I'd, you know, he's had 113 cats for his country. So he's got he's got a little bit of international experience, but um, yeah, yeah. I, I'm just wondering about his overall performances for us and what he could be doing. So... Let's get into the match. And because, yeah, it just, it goes into your mind. I always say to realize our expectations. But when you're winning games, you're like, why can't we keep it up? Like, why can't we keep doing this? That's the thing. See, already, I, I recognize names. 
I recognize some names. Skov Olsen, Munir, uh, Shamu Duro, Rodiov. Yes, I, may, I extended his name longer purposely. But yeah, Gagnon, Boscali. I, I know it's not... <laughs> I know it's not going to be an easy game, but we've been playing good football. And even if we took an L against PSG, so it hasn't been faultless, but I mean, 2 0 away against PSG, that could have been a lot worse, really. Uh, and their form isn't, I, I see their form isn't the greatest, but it, it the game worries me. The game worries me. I think it's a tricky one. We've got Diakabi up top. Superstar. Okay, guys, let's see. Let's see how this game shapes up for us. I always, you got to scroll down. You see the possession 100% if you notice when I do that. But not, not bad. Not bad that we are getting a bit of the ball. But, see, I feel like it could be one of those. Okay, come on. Chill. I, I don't want to con. Yeah, sure. You don't. I say you don't want to concede a scrappy goal, but can, you can't always control it. But yeah, in a game, oh, well, every game is important, really. But I'm always going to be defensive of goals we concede and how they come about. I think in whatever fashion, right? So, what are we going to see here? It's all about picking apart, not picking apart tactics, but it makes me think to see that was good. I like to pick apart the small things. Like, my, yeah, my manager, my tactical brain gets going and uh, consider changes you could make, even if this goes on to be a good game for us. Like, that was really good, though. Ah, oh, dear Carby. Dear Carby. Let's not f focus about PSG's talent. Who they poached, anyway. Uh, we've got someone of our own. We've got someone of our very own who's accomplished. And it all started there. Didn't I say, oh, yeah, we don't want to ha have any defensive errors or concede any silly goals. Composed. the p That's positioning and then the passing and then column. And then Farris. See, for me, he's shown more. He might get that starting selection. when Even when we're at full fully fitness. And there's little things, there's little things with that as well, like where, oh, if it was Alice, and even he got, got the ball to him, dear Kabi, he could have missed that chat. I don't know, I've got this thing in FM, maybe just my experience, but like, he could have had the exactly same chance and could have missed it. I don't know, but the pass may have not been exactly the same. Like, it's, there's, it's such an intricate, intricate details in FM, that is for sure. Uh, but it's interesting. I was going to praise, and I'm going to be disappointed if we concede. Would it have been a difference or not? Usually praise after the goal, but I'd love to see just a good... Uh, no? Okay. I knew Olsen was going to be utilised, and is that going to be given? It is. They're not even considering it as offside. Uh, it didn't look offside, but... I'm disappointed. Well, no praising happening. But you saw my reaction, right? I knew I knew it was going to be used, Skov. Mark Titer, please. Like, be on the man, and you have a chance to win that. Obviously, that's the thing. When you play, like, wing back generally a pretty, like, a tight role. Uh, we've got our instructions there. You could easily, you, you click Mark Titer. That's... You're like, why don't you just do that there? Hmm. We want to see a full game. We want to see a full game impact. I would like to see, you know, some attack of that or, you know, have a, like, let's see what else, uh, let's, how, let's see how the game plays out. Like, that, I'm just like, let the gameplay do the talking because then he might have been more focused defensively opposed to getting forward. And getting involved in an attack. That's probably what I would have hoped for. Well, the end result being a goal, but yeah. So that's what you got to consider from that point of view. You can easily say, oh, Mark Titer, bang. 
that's going to fix that last goal. But how does it impact the overall performance? Okay. Lots of in in intricate, that's the word, intricate details. This has been a pretty entertaining game so far as an overall. Like we didn't like conceding the last goal, who does? But we try and be, you know, non-biased and thinking from a neutral perspective. This, it, it like it's in a point where it's going to go either way, like this highlight. Ah, see, you, you pick up that possession and that, Yes, great. He's going to be good. Like, don't, like, necessarily. Like, he's like still, like, a pretty inexperienced younger goalkeeper. And I would, I, I'm really interested to see people's thoughts. Like, I said, you know, I've, yeah, I talked about previously how, yeah, we're at a league now. If we become, like, good in this league, we can win. Like, I can't predict job offers. But you could say there's, like, one more, like, that huge team. That would be the, like end game uh, for this save, but why couldn't that be turning this team into like a superpower and leading them to glory, winning the league and Champions League? What would you like to see, or would you like to see? Yeah, make that happen, and I guess we can just make the series go longer. Yeah, I think I think doing it with a team like this would same like what would you think would be a better achievement, or what would you like to see more? And I might keep it in mind. Uh, say if we do well with this team, then another job, uh, I think the next job I'd only consider like a real top contender, like who we, who you, when, when you say the team's name, you're not in doubt that they're a Champions League winning contender. Like, yeah, they're not just a top four team in a top five league. Uh, they are, you know, title contenders. Uh, so yeah, that, that's in my mind a little bit. It's not like me to think too far ahead. No, definitely not. So I don't even know what to say here, man. We owe him after the last match, so we'll say that. That's a strange time to say it, though, at half time when we've we've competed well. I said if we get a draw here, excellent. Oh, I, I'm I'm disappointed with the goal we conceded, but I think we've we've held it with them. Like when, like I don't like Munir, man. Like he's been one of the best on the day, and I know I know he's good, and I know he'd probably be yeah one of our best players, if not the best, if we had him. So. That's what I just mean. Like for this first season, uh, <laughs> with the club, uh, I'm I'm really happy with how we're doing. Admittedly, like we 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 there's so much more improvements in our team. Like there's weaknesses. Like we said, oh yeah, we put Faris over there. He might do all right, but he's not bad rated. But I, I can target. I can target. I can see like you know better players uh, coming into the team. Maybe apart from the striker, I think striker, the striker is pretty locked on, and maybe left back in column. Uh, you might not need to change too much, and uh, give you guys an update on Greg. We talked about him, touched on him, so yeah, he's got that potential in him. If he gets to that, he'll be good. I, I like having maximum potential of five star, but you're not going to complain uh, when it's looking like that. And now, yeah, La it's a, it's been between he and Sapreet Singh. They've been heavy rotation uh, for that role. I tell you what, uh, just it's I don't know if we're struggling to find consistency, but they're rotating a lot regardless. Uh, even Victor as the center attacking mid. There's there's been that as well. Uh, we might just take a bit of a deeper look because we got this Bakwa Bakwa on the bench, but he's more of a winger. I think he'll probably play out. He'll probably need to play out the game for us. And uh, we'll freshen up right back. Yeah, we bring on Frostler uh, this time around, and he might, you know, have that impact. Uh, you know, we touched on him. He's got that He's got that pace. Um, got a couple of assists for the season so far. And, yeah, <laughs> second time. Uh, it's not the, not just the second time, but in, remember the last episode. And then we'll leave one. This also, yeah, Eric Jerker. Jika, however you yeah, would like to say his name. He's been wanting to play a bit more, but we haven't used him as much as he probably would like. So I feel he's just leading into a player we're going to end up selling. Like, you know that process. You haven't used him as much, even when you say you will, and that time is going to come where he's going to complain. And it's like, yeah, you, you the vision of him is, yeah, it, it's going to lead to selling him. Like, you can see the path <laughs> that's going to happen, even though it hasn't happened yet. Okay. Okay, interesting. 
Really intriguing game. Like, it's one we would love to sneak. Like, if we can sneak a winner, we'll up the tempo. Yeah, we'll go up the tempo. Maybe take Plata defense out and just be more expressive. Okay. Like, I'll, I'll settle. I'll settle, but our last change. Column, inexperience. Yeah, freshen up the wing backs. Let's bring on Gustavo Cortez. We've got some options. We've got a few left back options. Uh, I re His contract was expiring, but there was a trigger. Uh, I, I was... I was happy there was a trigger for extension uh, because I was... I, I don't know if I was going to offer him a new deal or not. Uh, he's a fringe player. Got a few options. Good natural fitness. So he might hold on for another year. So I just opted with, um, yeah, triggering the contract. I thought, yeah, may as well do that. Opposed to offering him a new deal. A lot of time when you try and offer players a new deal, they're wanting a bit extra funds. And right now, right now, we don't want to concede. As I said, oh, they got that. Of course, David. Well done, Carrillo. Like, I'm happy with that. Good defending. Like, we could easily... Ah, oh, no. Busca no, 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 no. I'm like, don't let a defender score from a free kick. I demand more. <laughs> I'm stuck, but I'm happy. I would actually praise here, but praising when you're not winning? Nah, nah you see my reaction. Like, nah, that's not it. No, nah, that's not it. That's not the move. That's not the move in terms of how the players react to that anyway. Even though I'm quite... No, no I, I don't. I don't want to let go. Like, these hurt. Okay. I, I can worry pretty... But I mean, I'm not the only one. Do you worry when a highlight comes late and you're, you're like almost... You're accepting of a result. You're like, but we just forced them with a long shot there. So... And then you're like, oh, what was I worried about? But you never, you just, you get more tightness in the chest and start to worry. <laughs> but I think we would have, oh, when you start with possession, it excites you, but you can quite easily just lose it and give it back to them. But imagine if it leads to a winner. Imagine, dear Kabi, I thought he was going to run out. Imagine, Cortez, oh, Oh, this could be. Oh, I thought he was going to shoot Diakabi. Maybe he should have. Cortez! Oh! I thought it was going to go bottom corner. Bottom corner from the fullback that came on. And that was probably the chance. That was going to be it. That was... Oh! I thought... Yeah, I thought Diakabi was going to turn and shoot. I thought that was going to happen. I thought he got in a position to shoot. But then that... Oh! Wouldn't have that been a winner and an unexpected one? Then suddenly, I should be I should be happy. I got what we wanted, but that late chance, man. Ooh, it was two things. It was I thought Diakabi was in a great position, but then also the chance Cortez had. I think yeah, he took his uh, strike really well. Uh, goalkeeper was just onto it, but uh, good game. A uh, good game for us because we knew it was going to be tricky. Um, coming to Lille, not easy. Uh, then, like, especially the fact that they know they need to be doing better themselves. Um, they need to, yeah, start picking up some points. And I take little wins. Like, we had fewer total shots, but we still had more shots on target. Five to four uh, when we had a lower XG. Like, these little things tell me we're playing generally some good football. Uh, we might, it's similar to PSG, like... I felt we could have conceded more goals. We didn't score against them. It was a different comparison, but there's going to be different stats from different games. But you get, yeah, you get the idea how we are playing and why we're picking up points against maybe the lesser likes uh, in the league or anyone that we don't see as, you know, a top side. And yeah, even though Lil aren't performing so well. And that's where you look at uh, the different little stats and yeah, what we pick out of it. And it was one of, see, do you, do you go to the wing backs now, or the full backs on the wing back role, however you want to define them? Do you click tight marking on them? Because also that that could impact their attacking game. Um, because it even you're like, oh, that's just in defense, but it's still going to be in their mindset. So, uh, let me know what you would do because that was that. Yeah, it was a single chance, and it may have not even been defended anyway. Uh, so yeah, uh, we have to see. 
I'm probably not going to react to that. We'll, we'll keep it up because we have been, you know, we've been keeping clean sheets. So it could be a thing we, we would do. We could have been due to concede a goal. So there's a lot. Uh, there's a lot we could discuss. It's more so when there's a trend. If there's a trend of starting to concede a lot of goals, then you think about it. But when it was coming off a few clean sheets in a row, yeah. Um, you see it a bit differently, and we take a, the really, really good morale from this game as well, along with the point. Uh, yeah, wasn't I talking about us pushing up? But, hey, we avoid... I think it's it's holding off like we did in this game. We... we <laughs> It's funny if it's two definitions. We held Lil uh, from overtaking us. So, nah, holding this position. It's, oh, yeah, yeah. Where do we, 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 where we started? Where we started was very, uh, we, were, we weren't thinking about. We, it wasn't in our minds. But now, um, yeah, the European places are opening up for us. I think uh, definitely from the fourth to sixth for this season. Because what, 17 games? Uh, there's, there's still a big chunk left. So, uh, yeah, uh, you would say six is the one that's open because Leon, um, yeah, with Leona and Nice, they're a bit of an extra stretch away. But um, yeah, that six spot's open. It's almost like I can predict the future. We didn't even offer this man out, uh, but we've got uh, we've got transfer deals uh, to attend with. So it's pretty straightforward to me, even though unsettled Ruben Kazan. My my preference, uh, just so you know what I was thinking, I want to negotiate. I want to negotiate with the team that don't want to. Like they're happy. They're happy to pay his wages in full, basically. So accept that deal. We still got to take in the numbers and all that. That's still one point seven k per week, and then you analyze the difference. I I'll accept that. Just in case, because the overall, yeah, I'm pretty happy with the overall finance, uh, the finances on the deal in terms of the offer. Uh, in comparison, yeah, they're they're paying more. So, and then this one that is 130k in total and a lower. I'm just gonna accept them all because at the end of the day, he's not on a major wage. But you can see where I did think about it a little bit. And sometimes I may have just gone with yeah accepting the offer where there is yeah no no wage contribution um so yeah like we're no longer connected to that player at all but sometimes you got to compare the finances especially when they're non negotiable deals so um, I'm interested to see if anyone or like if you guys if you would have done that differently if there's an offer you would have accepted you would have rejected any uh yeah we'll accept them all and he'll leave uh but what which one would you prefer him like what what would you think is the best deal uh for us or is it going to be a major difference if it's well a few thousand either way uh because yeah some of the others um yeah compared to the one from Ruben Kazan even though yeah we're not going to be paying um a wage contribution to them their offer was a little bit lower so as i said balances out at the end you got to consider teams are making offers to suit their finances. So it's just funny. I didn't even offer him out, but it's like the game re realized what we were talking about. Uh, yeah, he's going to be moving on before too long. Well, here we go. Next up. I didn't quite anticipate this. I'm like, you want to pay off? So, wait. And this is Ruben Kazan. See, this is where the other part, um, there's no, yeah wage contribution but the, the this is a bit of a contribution to me okay and they want a payment of 300k in my experience where you can negotiate this at least 60 you see the total cost of his salary you know that's that's just under a million 975k in football manager there's no in between uh, from uh, yeah that uh, 975k uh to a million, so uh, I don't. I'm not sure if that's gonna get done. Yeah, where I'm just trying to save as much as we can. To be honest, what if we go to like a one, like it's one thirty? It may not get done. I'm not going lower than two hundred. I thought that was gonna be non-negotiable. It went orange, so. We'll go 2-5. Nah. So, <laughs> that continues on that question. Would you have done that the same? Would you have get that three? 
I don't know, man. Because again, that's like that's like an additional three hundred k just going out. So what's what's the disaster? Is that a disaster? What just happened? No. Has it impact us negatively? Not really. Uh, I'm sure offers will come in again. We're not. We're approaching January. We're approaching a transfer window. So more chance it'll happen during that. Uh, yeah. In the perfect world, we sell him, no wage contribution, and no payoffs. I wouldn't say that would be something impossible to, yeah, wait for. I think, yeah, that should be not straightforward, but there's a chance to get an offer like that. But all right, Coupe de France, uh, you know, it will be an alternate. It's, let's, let's, let's not too, uh, let's not go too far ahead. Let's not get too far ahead. I'm, you know, I've been through uh, this journeyman, uh, you know, at a few clubs, we're like, yeah, let's go, let's go all the way and win the cup, and we'll be, we'll play continental, we'll play Europe. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's let's take it game by game, but it, the door's open for that. Uh, you you keep it in mind. So it it threw me off. The the, the play the players not having the numbers, and I realised it's not a league game. But anyway, if that's the reason. Still got him over here. Throws you off a little bit, doesn't it? Uh, Alice is going to find it yet. Yeah, Jerka, uh, go out. Uh, what we noticed in the last game, we're probably needing another central mid. Yeah, so backward to come off. And I haven't really... Oh, he's another one. Look at the promises. I'm throwing so many promises out there. A fair amount of playing time. He's a bit in between, isn't he? Uh, he was capped at under 19 level, and that's probably what he looks like. <laughs> Bit of a youngster in the photo. Uh, we're a bit uh, deep into the save, but uh, he's quick. So we got to, okay, rate that really good, like pace, acceleration, agility. Uh, yeah, especially a couple of 16, then a 15. So then, hmm, not bad, not bad. I just, I want to see a bit more strength out of his other attributes, uh, you know. Uh, I think if each were one higher, uh, which again, oh, they, all these things are so easy to say, but okay. Let, I told you this has been a ro complete rotation. Oh my god, we've talked about. I'm I'm going all out. I'm doing something I haven't done every game. It's either been sing, sing or loser. W why not give uh, Michit, Michit, Edward? Uh, <laughs> why not give him a chance? I just like sometimes with how I build up, like what we're talking about, and. Okay, let's give him the chance, and if he performs, it it just feels really fitting. So we're gonna roll with it anyway. So is it gonna be the right selection? Um, yeah, that's what we're gonna go with. <laughs> the other two are probably a little bit stronger than him, but you know he's wanting to play. He's quick. Maybe to show that pace around the middle, and just to see that in action, maybe was a reason <laughs> we chose him. I want to see how he moves around the pitch, and yeah. See if that pace is going to impact. Or it gives you something to focus on. Like even you watching, you want to, yeah, yeah, target him. That number eight could have a big game. See how he goes in midfield. So show everyone. Recent praise has been justified. Overall, pretty decent. Uh, Muasa Diakabi up top. And maybe Faris, maybe he can command that left inside forward position. Because he could equally be a starter. If we're playing a formation with two strikers, could easily, yeah, it could be Diakabi and he up front, uh, Faris, and not a bad partnership. So, yeah, we see how it goes like this anyway. And it's a free kick. Oh, it's Valentin, the guy who we have doubted. I, I think we can, ca I'm not, I can't say this for the rest of the time I'm at this club. I think it's going to be to a level where I've got to rate him what he's actually done for me, and he's been a very good player. He's been creating goals, been involved in goals, and he's been one of our better players for the season. So do you think it's time to, yeah, bury that and just say, yeah, he's been, like, treat him as a good player. Don't have any negative, <laughs> negative on his name, really. He's just been good. That's the only evidence we've seen. Here we go. Man. I only get like that when I feel like I'm pretty confident it's going to be a goal. That would have been 2 0, and the game would have been close. I'm not going to say it's dead and buried or that it would have been, but that was a really good chance. Yeah, now we've got this. I mean, we're at least we're possession wise. Yeah, this is a typical home game for us. Like, 
Faris is on a yellow card. Got to be careful, even though he's an attacking player, but it's quite early. Column, oh, that was a, that was, oh, I thought that was a brilliant ball, that cross in. I was going to say, you don't need to worry about your weak foot if you could put a delivery like that. All right. Come on, settle. So, oh, no, nah, we're finding that's How? How are we doing that? That's a second ball like that through to Diakabi. Like, it, their defense... Is it our passes are just... We're hitting them, them passes or their defense is completely shattered? Look again. Great ball. He's killing it. The carpentry. <laughs> I'm sure you, you could have a bit more French pronunciation on his name, and I'm sure there is. Uh, but, um, like... And that was the second um, defense-splitting ball into Musa Diakabi. The first one, yeah, was spoiled, <laughs> and he probably should have finished that as well. But uh, really intriguing. We're opening them up. I think this game is a perfect definition if you're ever going to say that, if you're opening up a defense. That's what we are doing. Great position to be in, though. Considering how they treated us last time and we had to we had to make a comeback. Okay. It would be a poor time. It would be a poor time to concede. Diale, Diallo, Doyle. I just hope it's come on, our defense that holds up here. We we don't look like conceding here. Like we shouldn't. I'll be annoyed if we do. I'll be annoyed, man. Ah, I'm t I, I was annoyed even if I didn't concede. That sums me up with football manager. I was annoyed that that chance went through. Like, they got a ball through. I was like, they wasted it for sure. And you could say we dealt with it, but I'm disappointed it got that close. All right, let's go. Great half, okay. Yeah, we're dominating. We're dominating. Keep that strong. Keep that strong. Like, some great, great football. That's disappointing. We are right. It's always a... Uh, what was that? I was offside. So maybe that wasn't bad, but it always... Like, that makes me think. Do we lower the tempo? And I just want to, you know, slow things down. I always go like that. Very, you know, <laughs> descriptive. Physically. Um, yeah, that's me. I'm like, we want to slow, bring the tempo down. You know, know what we want. Know what we want. We just want to control more of the possession and play out the game. And I, I want to see us build up a chance that way. Anyway, and see, or are we just going to go direct regardless because we're in a good position? See... Yeah, that wasn't that wasn't necessarily slowing things down, and I think we were trying to rush it. Which okay, yes, yes. Like I love that's what you see. I'll point it out in in episodes. I liked it, especially after a change we just made. I want to see how we play and how we build up a chance from the goalkeeper. That's what I just like seeing through my tactics, anyway. But what was that? Am I? What the? the how is that leading? No. Don't make that lead to a goal. I'm annoyed. I say that in a way when, yes, let's build up a good ch good chance so you can see how we build an attack. And I'm oh, disgusted by that. Where is the slow build up? What was, what was that, man? Maybe something else we can look to adjust to that. Maybe get it through the middle. But yeah, I was, I was noticeably, noticeably disgusted <laughs> by that. Ah, oh, Leafy, there he is. They almost scored. Okay, we need to make a change. We need to make a change. Farris. Oh, like this is always a perfect situation. Yep. Alice, he's come back from a little injury. Get game time into him. So I've been a bit... I've been critical, but it's because he's experienced and I know he could and should be doing better. I'm not sure how much I've actually noticed from Edward uh, today, the, the guy with a bit of pace. And... Ooh, nah, Hervé, don't want to bring him on here. Sarp who's I don't know. Sarpreet. I feel like he's got in more goal scoring positions. 
uh, than Imran has. So uh, we'll we'll confirm that. We'll confirm that. Yeah, I'm pretty intricate with my selection. So there's Sorensen. Alice, come on. Come on. That's going to be a goal. No, it's not offside. It's, it's just... I, I say, like, that was easy. <laughs> He didn't have to do anything fancy that time. Like, no one was, like, no one was on him. Like, that could be comparable to that goal we conceded in the previous game. Like, is the opposition that careless with their defense? Like, yeah, you got to think about it. Um, but that was an easy goal. Um, I want to be happy, uh, but, like, yeah, to praise him, uh, Valentin, but... It's probably one of the easiest goals he's going to score in his life. Free header, no one near him. Just open. And now, what I like about this, we could probably... Okay, who's the youngest? Or oh, now, probably, yeah, Hervé. Yeah, he's probably your best uh, chance to bring on. Like, I haven't even delved into all our youngsters. Uh, we've got Mohamed Sal. He's a 21-year-old. He's another defensive player. He's got four-star potential. But when you compare, we'll go back... Yeah, what's his height? He's 187, so I keep going back to his heading like that and just, yeah, wondering about it. And, yeah, what, yeah, how we're going to develop him into the best he's going to be. Um, I might try him in the ball-winning mid. Like, I'm just thinking, because we were training him as a DM, he's three-star. What if we just plot him there and just... Straightforward DM is still three star anyway, man. But uh, he's got that high potential too, so it's really intriguing. What we, I mean, we can easily we can just experiment, we can say we can well play him at center back, but the heading would worry me. Try him at DM, you know, try and build up his tech. I mean, his passing doesn't need to be the craziest if you play him, you know, as that really defensive role. Uh, like we would do here, just yeah, have him play simple passes, and I think that will be fine. If his passing yes, at best gets to what, a 12 attribute, 13 at most, it's not bad in that role. Oh, Alice. Al <sighs> One more goal just to, yeah, to really finish things off, but pretty pretty good game. And it's, it's not like we just came up like against an easier team. It, I like when we can see a comparison. Uh, especially when it's like, again, in the episodes, uh, you saw the, you saw the outcome of it. Uh, not just seeing, not just seeing a result like, oh, like me showing you a result. We played off camera and that, and then we beat the team. You guys get a yeah visual representation, how we performed here today and really outperform them. Uh, yeah. And stay, yeah. Staying solid. Uh, we didn't have a formation tactic change this time. Uh, true to our game and we've held up so well defensively. So well defensively. As a roundup, we'll, we'll go. Yeah, we'll. Carrillo was good. 10, 10, 10. Yeah, I, okay. Okay. Valentin, you're no longer on my judgmental list that uh, once in another save that I didn't sign you because you weren't good enough for that team. You're good enough for this team and <laughs> you're, doing, you're doing big man things. <laughs> he is for sure. <laughs> yes. Killing it. When you get a 10 rating and it's not an easy beat team, it's a team we struggled to beat last time. Even though one of his goals, yeah, it was pretty easy. But that in FM, that becomes like the for a reason. It's not out of nowhere. A lot of, yeah, a lot of good games he's had now. So <laughs> it's taken a lot. It's taken a lot for me to rate him at what level he's playing at. But Happy with the game. Yeah, you just continue in top form, really, and we're, yeah, we advance. So, again, it's it's that point. Oh, was that closer? Is he at Hertha Berlin and he's about to get sacked? Yeah, well, I mean, if it's Miroslav closer, yeah, he's unemployed now. Yeah, he was at Hertha Berlin. Really intriguing. He, yeah, he's had managerial jobs, so I don't think he'd come, come as a coach. I... Why, why would that... No. You never know if you don't try. So we get through there. And obviously, getting that little money there, which is pretty nice, around 25K. Uh, but 
talk about managers and former players. What happens if we just type in Ronaldo? Cristiano Ronaldo is trying to take my players. Of course, it's interesting. I, I don't know how connected this is because we're in the same league. Like he's managing, remember, RWDM? When days were in Belgium, it, it, it wasn't that long ago, but it feels long ago. <laughs> he twice, like there was two separate occasions, like these were the same one though. Like he was watching, yeah, Sorensen, but there were obviously the messages don't hold up um, forever, but there was another one before that. So how much do you think that is connected to like, I we managed in the same league and he's been, he's, he's been at a couple of my games so far, a couple of our games, or is that just the luck of the draw? <laughs> is that the luck of the draw that he's actually interested in my players? But is there an extra fat? These things, uh, that's why I say these things sometimes about FM. Like I played it for years, but there's some things that I never know for sure. Like it's something that would make sense. Oh yeah. He's following me. So how I'm going, Oh, I've got a better job. Ronaldo thinking about himself. That's not like Ronaldo. Um, I think about how he can improve his career. <laughs> no, like, I don't know. Uh, FM makes you wonder, and maybe that's just uh, the secret ingredients uh, they've dropped in the game over the years uh, to make you fall in love with it. It makes you wonder about features, uh, which I think they've said in the past. But anyway, uh, this was a pretty good episode here. Uh, the first game, looking back on it, it felt like it was like really positive. We didn't win against Lille, but it was a draw. But uh, yeah, everything is pieced together pretty well. Uh, especially uh, with that last performance. I think both what we saw performance-wise from both games, uh, we take yeah big things out of. So we're just going to magically do that. And yeah, what, what I was saying is, yeah, that one goal we conceded um, in the previous game, you take out the PSG game. I mean, you can still rate the PSG game. We concede there, whatever. But that there's a group there. There's a group there of clean sheets that, yeah, before we get too reactive and we concede one goal, address that. You don't always have to. You don't always have to. That can take away from your game. So uh, that's why you got to hold up and see if it's a common theme. If there's a common theme of conceded goals, that's when you act. But for now, uh, we are sitting uh, pretty good. And I think considering we are, you know, well, it's going to be the last, oh, we get a bit of break, which is handy. Uh, we're going to view the finances. And actually, the finances finances uh pretty pretty close i uh, was it the previous month if you go to the expenditure um last month last month there you can see it was 3.8 and then our wages not the not the heaviest which is a good feeling i'm just coming off rounding off that everton rebuild and obviously uh there's going to be a bit more there but then you go to income and our income was 5.8 like that's really good so if we sort by last month we had we had four million. Uh, we've got nothing from it this month. It's other, so other. It just says, yeah, various other sources. So I don't know how much we can rely on that. And for the whole season, um, it hasn't been. It's been four point four for the whole season. We got four million last month. So I'm I'm curious to what that actually would be, but maybe don't expect that much of a, a profit each month. Then if that was the only month we got it in, but yeah, we're not complaining. Uh, when you get your money. You wouldn't be complaining. So, but I wanted to point out those details. They were pretty interesting. So, hopefully, enjoyed the episode today. As I said, always appreciate to all you guys that support the channel uh, in all the ways you do, uh, whether it be again uh, through external memberships or <laughs> just through leave, leaving comments, or even if you just watch the videos. I know some of you guys out there don't even probably, or you may have a YouTube account, but you don't really comment on videos. Um, just you watching. Um, watching through the video uh, is cool to me uh, because, yeah, uh, if I've got anyone watching out there, it just makes me feel like I'm doing something with my time uh, in creating these videos. And, yeah, if you're watching on the other end, I uh, hope you're enjoying it and I'll see you next time.